Hello and welcome to the fifth part of this series where we cover the mechanics of bosses in the main game of Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix. If you missed a previous boss or would like to see a future boss you may be struggling with, there is a playlist of all these videos on my channel. Let's get into Pot Centipede now, the first boss for Agrabah. I'll be blunt here, Pot Centipede on level 1 is notoriously bad. There are several factors that makes this a perfect storm of garbage. The first phase is relatively consistent. The first phase consists of Pot Centipede being stuck in a room. There is a large wooden barricade separating us from the rest of the area as well. In this initial combined form, Pot Centipede has a few attacks. He can charge you, where he runs directly at you and headbutts you, which can be easily parried. He can try to bite you, where he puts his mandible things together twice and then bites. This is also easily parried. Lastly, he can wave his antennas around, which is not parryable and is not safely punishable. This phase does not last very long, so don't worry too much. Once enough damage has been done to Pot Centipede, he will break apart into pieces. The head and tail are capable of dealing damage separately, as well as the several pots roaming the area. In this form, he mainly does antenna attacks, which is just awful. He can either stay still and wave his antennas around, or he can spin towards you with them glowing. The latter is really scary, so just try to get some distance and play safe. The tail can wave its wigglers around, but it's more of a passive threat, and you should really focus on the head for damage. While I'd love to say there's a consistent way to get him to form back together, there is not. There are things you could do to help him, but it's up to him to decide to reform. Firstly, do not destroy all the pots in the area. They are annoying, yes, but he needs them to reform. From my testing, the more pots, the more likely he is to reform. When he does decide to reform, he will heal based on the amount of pots he reforms with, but don't worry about this too much. We'll easily deal enough damage to counteract that. Try to get some damage in while you can, but play safe. Magic is a good choice when he is formed together, as the pots cannot be destroyed, but when he is split apart, magic will destroy pots too quickly. Once Pot Centipede reforms, you need to hit him at least once. When you hit him once, you will see him wiggle his head and put it down. This is a telegraph for him deciding to run. The running is imperative to this fight as it is the safest time to get in damage. When he does this first scripted run, he will destroy the wooden barricade, opening up an additional three areas. During this first run animation, Pot Centipede has a one-time use hitbox near his head. The best way to get rid of this is to take a hit in the first room before the barricade is broken and heal. This allows you to control the damage you take and be ready for it. If you don't take the hit here, you'll likely take a hit while you are comboing the head thanks to the lingering hitbox. The strategy that will result in the most damage is to jump and place Sora between the head and the first pot on his body, which I will call his neck for ease. Here you can do air combos and not get parried by the pots on the body. Your goal here is to deal as much damage as you can, as this is the best and safest time to do that. Pot Centipede is nearly guaranteed to stop at the plaza first. I've played this game a lot, and I've only ever had him run past the plaza a small handful of times. Once he stops in the plaza, he will break apart after a few hits. I'm not sure how consistent the amount of hits is, as I've had it take 5, but also 2. Again, the goal here is to damage him enough to get him to run again. Pot Centipede can reform and instantly start running, which is ideal, but it's completely random it seems. Once he starts running again, get back to his neck and deal air combos. His run animation from this point forward will look like him jiggling while moving forward linearly. Once he begins the second run, the fight should be in the bag as long as you maintain your air combos and keep up your damage output. It seems like Pot Centipede has damage thresholds where he will run into the next room, and even on level 1 we can surpass this with well executed air combos causing him to run as long as you're dealing enough damage consistently. If you get hit by a kamikaze pot, or drop your combos, he will likely stop in a room because your damage was not kept up. One oddity to note is that Pot Centipede can spin around in circles in the room that connects the desert with the plaza. When this happens, I'd suggest using Thunder until you have 1 MP remaining so you can cure an emergency. Thunder easily hits both the head and the tail, meaning it deals twice as much damage as normal. Another oddity is that Pot Centipede can get stuck on the environment sometimes, like the little stalls or poles. There isn't much you can do about that, just play safe. 
thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully this helps you as well. Uh, Pot Centipede's a terrible fight. I hope you get through it. Next, I will be covering Tiger Head, which is the next fight directly after Pot Centipede. We're going from the freezer into the fryer, so get ready for that.